Welcome to the Full Throttle Saloon Project. Like this video, join our Patreon, and subscribe. You guys ready? You know, we're kicking everything up a notch this year. I decided if I'm going to keep it, I'm going to raise it to a whole new level. This year, it's going to be different. This year, we have no choice but to take the throttle to another level. I'm gonna jump off this bridge right now. I mean, we have to. I don't care. Let's go. Stop fighting. You're gonna get teased. Go ahead, tease me, bitch. Why aren't the gates open? Holy cow, did you see that? That's a disaster right there. Dude, that's damn bankruptcy. Stakes are extremely high. Oh, Disrespect me in front of well, people again. I am so fired. Hold on, buddy. We got you. We're right here. Call 911 immediately. And you let her down. I'm so livid at you. I had fire coming out of my eyeballs. I was so upset. It's the last time that I'm playing on that damn stage. Bull you. Things are going to be different this year. Bigger problems. The last thing we need is a dead bartender. It's called Throttle Fest, and it puts a bad black eye on us. Tenucci! Bigger names. And maybe the biggest change of all. Oh my God. Ah, and it's all this season on Full Throttle Saloon. Right now, I'm a little excited because we've got a good crowd in here right now. We're jamming pretty decent. I'm seeing registers running. I want more registers up. I'm trying to get everybody organized. But the hardest part is opening and getting up and going and getting everything up and operating. People are showing up way early this year. They want to see the throttle. They want to see all of it. So we're having a hard time keeping them out of the infield. We still got construction on it. We're building bars. We're pouring concrete. There shouldn't be anybody back here. We're still days away from the official start of the rally. It's great that we got these early crowds coming in, but now they've overflown out into the courtyard. Hey! And it's not even open yet. On the way. Hey! Gentleman was going down the zip line, and he got almost to the other side, and the zip line snapped, and he fell just straight down. We're going to check Colts in his right leg. He fell so far. I knew he wasn't going to get back up. Just know we got your back, my man. Why are they here? The just popped. Somebody's down the ground right now. You got to be lying to me. First name's John. The zip line broke as somebody fell. Holy shit, that zip line's like 20 feet in the air. This guy could be dead. He could be paralyzed for life. Holy shit. Hey, let's everybody back up, you guys. Back up. Dude fell from the zip line. <laughs> It's great to have these early crowds coming in, but not at the sake of someone getting hurt. God, I hate that. I do too. Since you're completely indemnified, you still want that. Do you want just the name? I want, want all the, the information that's happening okay. just for my protection. If word gets out that someone's died on that zip line, the zip line won't be the only thing that's out of business. See that dude fall down? Michael tells me some dude just fell off the zip line. How freaking crazy. What's happening? What the carriers it looks like that they ride on, bro. From what I'm hearing, it's one of the employees of the zip line. Didn't hook himself in right, and he was pulling some kind of pranks on the zip line and fell the 20 feet. So it wasn't a customer of mine. It was an employee of the zip line company. Man, thank God this guy's breathing, and he's trying to talk. Just had a little fall. I'm going to tell you all about it. You know, this is one jacked up way to start the rally this year, man, and I hope the rest of this week don't reflect that. Three days before the rally's official start, early arrivals are already streaming in, but the throttle is nowhere near ready. In the back courtyard, Michael Ballard is racing to complete major construction. 
Jenkins. I come up with this idea to make the beds of the truck, the letters FTS with three of them and put them up in the air. Are we pouring concrete? And there's still all these loose ends that have to come to a head within the next three days. Oh my God. It never ends. I gotta keep pushing everybody or it stuff don't happen. Despite a steady early crowd for throttle, Overall rally attendance is expected to be down. Going into this year, the economy's way down. Last year was the 70th anniversary, so on the norm, when we break off of a 10th year anniversary, it just falls down. But Michael Ballard is thinking big. I raised my level of entertainment because when somebody comes in for the first time, I want them to stay, and I want them to come back tomorrow night and the next night. So there's more stuff and more freaks and more stuff that we've never had before happening here. The entertainment's so much better than it's ever been. I mean, there's all kinds of crazy stuff. We're off the chain this year. Did Scott Bussey copy us on the email that went to Ted Nugent's camp? This year, we have no choice but to take the throttle to another level. I mean, we just, we have to. We got Kenny Wayne Shepard, The Outlaws, the original Ted Nugent. It is my favorite, of course. And then in the back, you know, we got a huge festival, the Throttle Fest. The biggest concert in Throttle history. And Jackal Night, I mean, hands down, it's the strongest lineup we've ever had to date here at the Full Throttle. How's he going to outdo the, uh... What's he going to do over the cannon for this year? All year long, the question has been, what are you going to do to top the cannon? And aside from the people coming up and asking me what I'm going to do, in the back of my mind, I was wondering, OK, what am I going to do? Did you hear about that dude that called me up? He saw the cannon last year. And so he wants to put me in a straight jacket, hang me upside down from the rafters on the stage, and put a, battle, a bag of rattlesnakes over my head and, it, and have me escape in front of everybody. That sounds dangerous. <laughs> Why didn't you go to those big tight ropes and do that? I think that we should still play Russian roulette, and I get to pull the trigger. So yeah, I was asking myself, what the hell are you going to do, son? The question of the year is what tops the cannon? Look at that. What's the chance? Scattered thunderstorms, isolated storms, PM thunderstorms. I looked at the radar and I'm really worried about next week because it's showing rain for the next like eight, nine days straight. Look at that. Maybe you guys do good girls go to heaven and we'll do bad girls go to Sturgis so and we're take everybody. Yeah. Flaunt kind of exploded a little bit. We've been all over the nation. Wait till they flip up into it? We've also upped our production. We've added swings this year. We've added fire dancing this year. We have three new girls. Last year was a great year for the Flock girls, but they let that early success go to their heads. I don't know how they've managed to do it, but they've moved backwards. They're looking worse than ever before. Here comes Angie and Gina's part. They seem way more scattered this year than they were last year. The old saying is, don't believe your own hype, but the Flock Girls did just the opposite. I mean, they are still basking in last year's success. That little blonde girl back there, she's one step behind. I didn't watch but 10 minutes of the routine, and it was way off, and it's still a lot to put together the way I see it. I don't know. If the Flock Girls don't get it up 100 notches, then they may not be flaunting in 2011. Bartenders, the full throttle can make upwards of $10,000 per rally. But after a long history of bartenders behaving badly, Michael and Angie have to keep them on a tight leash. If you guys bring in your own liquor, I'll have you arrested. The whole reason I have orientation every year is to, to lay out the ground rules. I don't care who you are. I don't care how long you've been here. If you guys bring in your own liquor, I'm firing you. It's happened to me before. I mean, we had to fire one of my very good friends for bringing in her own liquor. The rule in bikinis is this. If your sunglasses cover more than your bikinis do, it's not a bikini, OK? Because you can't show any part of the nipple whatsoever, and we don't even want to get close to that part of the nipple. I usually double up my bras. I say one to hold them up and one to hold them in. The ordinance says basically if you got too much cheek hanging out, you're in violation of their ordinance code. That's inappropriate, OK? A, B, C. What's A? Yes. B? Yes. C? Yes. All right, any last minute questions? Thank you. Then I will be doing my normal repertoire of spankings and motorboats and whipped cream. You're whipping them like with a whip? I'm gonna have to keep my eye on you. 
anytime that you're walking anywhere that there's not security cameras, grab a security person, just because that makes me feel safer that you're safe. See, Michael Ballard has just walked in. We got cameras over all the registers. We watch all our money just like a casino would do in Las Vegas. I'll know every shot you sold, every beer you sold. I know if you sold a double or you didn't sell a double. We definitely raised the level of the bartenders here at the Full Throttle. They're hotter than ever. We got a huge budget that we have to cover, and you guys are the one who has to cover that budget <laughs> by upselling that product and moving that product. So looking forward to it. Have a good one. Thank you. On behalf of the Full Throttle Saloon, I want to thank the Defenders Association and Ellsworth Air Force Base for your participation this year in making sure this is a safe rally here at Full Throttle. I got my security guys. We got all the military guys from Ellsworth here helping us, a lot of them helping us from the Air Force Base, so we'll be able to watch things better, too. Much appreciate having you out here to back us up and, and get this job done this year. All the dollars that are being raised this year is going to their military charity, which supports families of deployed officers. They're donating 100% of their time, and what more can we ask for? Beaver. Okay, I'll buy that Dairy Queen sign. Chandra Rich. Your nighttime. Lauren Sorden. She's that's the girl. She's missing. Yeah, that's the girl that's missing. She is missing. She was stepping back to her room last night. What do you mean? We missing? told the security guys. Yeah, yeah. They were all night long. All night, not last night. She this was morning. orientation this morning. She never showed up. Nowhere. Her stuff isn't even touched. She came here last night, I, I don't know when, but I went back to my cabin at 7.30, and all her bags is there, and she has not been to the cabin since. Do you see why I want you having security walk to your car with you? We all see the news. Horrible things can happen. Sturgis is no different. I'm beside myself right now because I just don't, I, I worry about my bartenders. They're my responsibility, and I don't want any of them ever to get hurt. It's been over a day since that bartender's gone missing. And I'm beside myself right now. Have I told you about it yet? We just did orientation at Tan. She never showed up for either of those two things. Now Stephanie's in her cabin, and she said that she checked all of her stuff in, never came home last night, never showed up for orientation. So basically, for over 24 hours, she's been missing. There is bad people that come to this event, and a lot of these girls come out here and don't understand that. So some guys sweet talk them in, hey, go for a ride with me, whatever. Well, hell, they don't even know who they're getting on the back of a motorcycle with. Call so one of her references on it. I don't know this girl at all. I haven't even met her. Nobody knows where she is, so everybody's trying to hunt her down. And, and the first thing that popped in my head is to call the police department. So she never got, she didn't show up, you know. I'm worried about her. I just want to make sure that she's OK. I just want to make sure she's not laying in a ditch somewhere. Will you try to find out? Let me know. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. I'm walking in the courtyard, and I'm wondering, OK, what am I going to do this year to top the cannon? And uh, you know, it's a good damn question, because I didn't really know what I could do. And then there it was staring me right in the face. There's a legendary Bismarck Trail Bridge. I mean, this, the settlers used to come right across this trail when they settled this part of the country. Have you been back on that back side over there? Yeah. This year, I'm going to conquer the bridge. They got this ice down yet? There's no ice in here. Oh. That's not good. My phone fell out in the water. I've had that phone for like three years, but all of my contacts were in that phone. Son of a bitch. I've lost every contact I had. And I don't know if the sheriff's trying to call me to tell me what's going on with this girl right now. God, I'm not, I cannot believe I lost it. So we'll be repositioning you to the pit and walking. I got a lot of people out looking for this girl. We got all the guys from Ellsworth Air Force Base here that's doing our security. Everybody's trying to find out where this girl's at. 
you know, somebody could have let her off the property or, or who knows, she could be laid out in the middle of this field somewhere. You three are together. You three together. Hey, security, if anybody sees anything, I need to know immediately. I'm having people report to me what's going on, so I'm keeping a close eye on it while I'm still trying to get this bar up and moving. I called you yesterday and I said, meet me out there. Instead, everybody was drunk, nobody showed up. A lot of the guys that's supposed to be working out in the field, they've been getting drunk every day, drinking beer. Then I end up out in the field till one in the morning doing the stuff that they should have already done. You have to pace yourself, Blue. It's gonna be a long rally. Sorry, it's been a long one. You had a beer for breakfast. My boy, Blue, he was going and picking stuff up for me left and right. When we get close to the rally, you can hang it up. He's gonna get drunk and you can't depend on them. That's what they said. He then had a cold beer in his hand at 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm having no tolerance for anything. I'm already at my wit's end. The drinking, it's done. Oh, I ain't done none of that in days. One Tooth Paul does all of the thankless stuff that nobody else really wants to do. And who knows what's going to go in the way that guy drinks. From here on out, we're getting into rally. There's a lot of out here that's got to get done now. So I've already made up my mind to run this bar like a machine. To take care of the whole damn place with a push mower. That's a hell of a job. Even though you do work here, you, you've got a party. Lots of alcohol. <laughs> Is there anybody back here working at all? I got to get that fajita pizza shack in order to look ready to open. This is a train wreck. I don't see that thing being ready by Saturday. They got a huge mess out there. Unbelievable. So that threw me into a big bind right now. I've got them guys working on trying to get some people in here to get that thing straightened out. I need kitchen people. I know. Now, like starting in the morning. Starting in the morning? I need them to get that thing cleaned up and ready to go. So whoever you got that's got like kitchen manager experience, setting up kitchens, come in and start getting that fajita pizza shacked up ready to go. Uh, there really are no people with kitchen manager type experience. If the health inspector shows up right now, he's going to say, no way, Bob, you can't open the place. Right. You want fajita's number? I already got fajita's number. I don't need it, though. I hate the way that things ended with fajita last year. When fajita stepped out last year with that bucket of tequila, I mean, it was just a recipe for disaster. You're going across the street, dog. It's over. It's over. I tell you, I'm just going to say this. In spite of him being his biggest dumbass in the world, he's, he's one, of the, one of the people that we can expect to damn get, at least get that place up and get it running. I don't want him working for me. I know you don't, but you've seen that damn shack over there, right? I just went over there. It's a long way from go. He'll at least put up with this insanity. He's begging to come back. If he wants to come back, he can get his ass on a bus. Because somebody's got to take control of that stand. It's in, I mean, it's going to be a mess. Call him. Coming up, the search for a missing bartender kicks into high gear. We have thousands of miles of prairie out here. I mean, there's no telling where this bartender is. Plus. No, Ryan, we go back at the same time. Flaunt needs to get it together. Holy Or they may get replaced. We gotta entertain our crowd. If they're not capable of them, we gotta find somebody that is. Okay, Jesse, but he the mic. You need to call him right now. And I don't wanna go book this ticket for ring on the car. Hello. Fajita, this is Jesse. Uh, what's up, Jesse? Can you be at the airport in the morning? It, it'd be tricky, but I'll do it. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. If there's any doubt in your mind that it's not going to happen, let's back up and punt. Well, I, I, I think that's a little bit up. The answer we're looking for here is I will be there hell or high water. Right, no drinking on the job. When you party on your own time, when we tell you to go lay down, you're going to go lay the down. I'm not going to tolerate You know, last year, we ended up throwing his ass across the street, put a suitcase out. Hopefully, he's got enough sense after a year not to screw that up. I'll text you the info. All right, bye. Sometimes it takes a drastic lesson for people to live and learn, you know? Maybe he just learned as well. Who knows? He's not a bad guy, man. God He's a good dude man. when he's sober. But when he kicked that door in... Jose Cuervo kicked that door in. <laughs> it's gonna be one mess. 
This missing bartender has turned into a huge deal. I mean, we've got the police, our security, everybody is out looking for this girl. I mean, there's thousands of miles of prairie out here. And there's no telling where or what could have happened to this little girl bartender. I think at this point, everybody's assuming the worst. And this is one way you do not want to start a rally, finding a dead body. Fajitas and pizza, you want a manager just looking over those. Is Fajita Leah's coming? We have not heard from her. I'm getting you some help. That's why I love you. Hey, Michael, it's Mimi. Hey, Mimi, book that ticket for Fajita for in the morning at 5.30. Okay. He brought me in the office and booked a ticket for Fajita Mike to be here tomorrow. Truly, I don't like to use the word hey for anybody in this world except for Fajita Mike. Hey, kidding me <laughs> we gotta have somebody to do it we got nobody we can't run full throttle without fajita mike no i'm just That's telling you he's gonna all kinds of it's done oh michael he'll be here tomorrow at noon it was nice visiting with you <laughs> welcome back thanks for getting me some help michael you asked for it my goal is to push fajita right out the door not gonna put up with any of it this year The possibilities are endless of things that I can do for this year's stunt. That's up there. And then there it was staring me right in the face. I ain't got any other choice except to get to that top of the bridge and jump. It'd be over just like, boom, and you'd be, I mean, you'd be here so fast. I would be a fool not to be respectful of nearly 100 foot of height and just free willing jumping off of it. I'm all about getting up there and making sure that people leave the throttle, knowing that we've taken the show to a whole nother level, literally. No, Ryan, we go back at the same time. I think the pressure's on. And we really, really, really need to get our together. OK, so we're going to do this first. <laughs> now, Ryan, she is definitely our dumb blonde. Shoulders down, look pretty, good posture. Straight up, Megan. Smile! Megan wants to dance so badly, but she has two left feet. Holy I mean, the girls are on stage rehearsing, and, uh, and it's got worse, worse, worse. After last year, the flock girls just thought they had it made, but it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll, and now those girls are moving backwards. Oh, I'm so nervous, I could die. The end of this son of a bitch, this son of a bitch works, it's gonna be amazing. My freaking phone is completely shot right now, so I've lost every contact and everybody, it won't even work. And I don't know if the sheriff's trying to call me to tell me what's going on with this girl right now. You know you're not answering your phone? I forgot my phone. <laughs> what happened? I dropped it. That's the worst timing ever. Where's it at now? Right, right there on top of that, just trying to drive. <laughs> out. Don't touch it. I hate it that Michael has lost his phone. I mean, both of us are totally dependent on those phones. You can send this message now. Press but he is tripping out, and it's the worst possible time. Oh, this ain't good. Is there anybody out there in the bar? It's pretty so that rain beat the hell out of us. Today it came a, a really hard rain today, and we're a couple of days from rally. It hurt ourselves inside. <laughs> Motorcycles is all about dry. When it's raining, they don't go. I mean, it, it kills me. On top of it being a lower attendance, if we get some rain, it could wipe me out completely. That's a disaster right there. No, that's damn bankruptcy got a lot on my shoulders right now. But at the same time, I'm really concerned about this missing bartender. Who knows where this girl is? The 
fajita kitchen is still in shambles, awaiting the arrival of Fajita Mike to whip it into shape. Hey Mike, I want to let you know that Fajita Mike that we booked the ticket for, he never got on that flight. We got Fajita Mike a ticket, and then you know what happens? He doesn't even show up for the flight. Typical Fajita Mike style. And Fajita didn't get on his flight. So he didn't go. Some people are their own worst enemy. Bob been feeling bad, and I know you called it like it I is. He's a damn I know, up. I know. But God, I mean, you can't help people that won't help themselves. The guy's going on 50 years of food. And he can't and stop drinking. Probably got drunk because the flight was a 5.30 flight, and he had to be at the airport at 4.15. And I guarantee you got drunk and didn't show up. I'm done. I fajita the out. He can kiss my ass. You know, that puts us back to square. We still got to figure out what we're doing. I'm this working time. on it. I have not spoken to Fajita. He'd be right back here at this stand that is in total disarray, and who knows how it's going to get put together. Who knows who's going to put it together. Colorado, baby. Yeah, yeah. With just one day remaining before the rally begins, the mystery of the missing bartender is still unsolved. Despite overnight searches, there's been no sign of her since she disappeared almost 48 hours ago. All of the bartender's belongings are still sitting in her cabin, and she is M.I.A. I don't know where this girl is. She just disappeared. She could have got mixed up with the wrong crowd, got hooked up with a dude. She could be laying in a ditch somewhere. Who knows where this girl is? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go downtown today, show a picture around, ask if anyone's seen her. All right, let us know. All around the full throttle is just prairie ground. Somebody could have let her off the property, or, or who knows, she could be laying out in the middle of this field somewhere. OK, Michael, I'll keep looking. I'll let you know if I hear anything. All right, sounds good. Having lost all his phone contacts, Michael heads downtown with Jesse to handle some business in person. Dude, my phone's on. No way. I'm just booted up. No way. Don't yeah. touch it. Are you going to reboot it back on your service? Hell no, I'm going to wrap it right now. You I, going? I can't go. Take me back by the throttle. I ain't going back to the throttle. I'm going to Rapid City right now, as <laughs> fast as Seriously, I can go. Dude, man, I've got to get back over there. You're going to have to find another ride, dog. I'm going to Rapid to get my damn contact. This has been driving me damn crazy that I ain't got my contact. You contacts. have to run me back you, over the throttle. No, no, it'll take me another 40 minutes to get you out there and back. Ballard has to go to Rapid City to try to get all of his contacts off that phone before it shuts back down on him again. I get left downtown and thinking I get somebody to come and get me. James? James, answer the phone. Somebody's got to come and get me from downtown, damn it. Johnny, answer your phone. Call me back. This is Jesse. Hey. Don't even one of y'all have a ride? No, but I got a gun. I'll see you there. Ah. Coach, I'm hanging out with you. I'll be here all week long with you guys. He didn't quit this year. It's the first time he's ever worked here that he didn't quit right before a rally. I'm done. What's wrong with you? I'm done. Go, come here. What happened? I'm just going to shake your hand and walk away. Uh, that's thing. it. I, I got to do it. Sorry. Uh, It'll be interesting. I tell you, this is, a, this is a rally of surprises with Go. I'm underneath the Jesse James beer sign. If you guys want to come up and say hi. <laughs> Johnny, answer your phone. Wake up. Mike had to bolt to Rapid City, and it's damn raining down here. Somebody's got to come and get me. Call me back, please. I ain't used to this. Sunshine usually falls my ass around. I don't know what's going on with it. That's good. What is this? That's alligator. Hey, here's the boar. You guys down south have boar. Boar? Yeah, wild boar. I sure do like the gator. I might get two gators. Okay. You want another game? No, give me a give me a yak. You want a yak? I like the yak. You like the yak? I like the yak. Huh? You got your own bike here? Yeah. Let's go get it and take me back to the full throttle. <laughs> I need a ride. You gonna take me back to the full throttle right now? It's two no. miles down the road. Come on, you gotta take me. I got need a ride back to the full throttle. What is wrong with y'all? <laughs> You're killing me. Hey, hey, let me talk to you. Pull right here for a second. I need a ride out to the full throttle. I've never had a passenger. Before. Well, let me be the first. I like being the first. Come on. On a wet road. It's two miles down the road. I trust you. You want some jerky? No. I got alligator jerky. I got yak jerky. I got buffalo jerky. And I got turkey jerky. What's your favorite? My favorite is alligator jerky. I never knew that until I just tried it. 
Now I can honestly tell you that alligator jerky is the best jerky there is. Hold her right on up in there. Pull right over that big hole right there. Give me a hug. Get her out. Thank you so much. Yeah. That was awesome. With no fajita mic, it's up to Steve-O, normally just a bar manager, to try to get the kitchen up and running. It's going to take three hours to get someone into town and back to get guacamole. Well, the fajita kitchen is just messed up. You know, fajita's not here, no one's here, so we're kind of piecing together the order as we can go. I only got partial order of what I'm supposed to get. Yeah, Mike called saying he needs the fajita shack up and running, and I got nothing for fajitas. I finally got here, though, Cisco. Part of it. Part of it. Are you kidding too. me? I don't have all of it. I don't have tortillas. I don't have sour cream. I don't have guacamole. I don't have black beans. I have nothing. OK. So other than that, do we have any issues? Tomorrow's the rally. We got less than 12 hours to go. Coming up, the search for the missing bartender comes to a shocking end. We got to lock this down big time. If something bad has happened to this bartender, this is not going to be a good rally. Plus. I wanted to avoid this kind of a situation. Flaunt's problems lead to a major decision. If the Flaunt girls can't get it together, then they're going to be left behind. To get ready for the official opening day tomorrow, Michael has his full staff doing a dry run tonight. I got my whipped cream. Hopefully everybody's ready to eat some dessert. Christy. We have some longer shorts, but that's not. No, I can just lower them. Well, I got some duct tape. Either that or we'll put just give them. a bar back to just stand behind it the whole time. Okay. They won't write up. There's room to get them down lower. Okay. Well, I'll make sure we can't see them. Otherwise, you're going to have to put something else on. Christy, I knew she was going to be trouble from orientation. Either way, I can back it up. Okay. Considering I'm a little bit older than a lot of the girls, hopefully I give them incentive when they get to be my age. <laughs> can't stand so, that girl. After 48 hours of searching, the missing bartender mystery is about to be solved. Are you brand new? And what's your name? Lauren. You're the one that's missing. Yes. Does everybody know you're found? <laughs> please, please tell me that you're found. Oh my god, I know somebody was rooming with you, and she said your stuff is in the oven, and you did not come back. I got into a little bit of drama, so I don't know you, but I'm like, that's somebody's daughter. I got pulled over, like, right here in front. The cop pulled me over because I didn't have current, like, tags on my car. So they took me into the police station. I didn't get arrested or anything, but they just held me there until I could get current plates. She was seriously stressed out that you weren't here, and she <laughs> made them report you missing. <laughs> I just found out that they reported me missing. That makes me feel kind of good that people were worried about me. And then, of course, my cell phone died, and I was like, Oh my god. And my phone was dead, so I was just really nervous because I didn't know the number to hear, and I was just like, oh god, I drove all the way down here, and now I'm not going to have a job. They were all kind of worried about you. <laughs> they knew that your stuff was here, but you weren't. You ready to talk to Angie? Yeah. OK. Let's go find her and see uh, what we're doing. The whole freaking time she's in jail? Are you kidding me? People weren't here, so I put someone on your spot. I want to strangle her myself. Have we found out who Our, the, the missing somewhere. girl is? And yeah, well, she's back. She came back, Laura Sorden. Yeah, she just came up to the bar, brought her back here. Swore she'd never leave again. And uh, where'd she go? I don't know. She's not dead in a ditch, at least. What was it? She was. Oh. In... What? What's she that? Was... She was in jail. You know, somehow or another, this slipped through the cracks that the same girl we're all looking for is sitting downtown in the jail. I don't think it's anything serious. Obviously, she's out. So, got all my people out here looking, wasting everybody's time on the property, concerned about her. I want to know why she went to jail. Her story was she had expired tags. You know, this whole story about expired plate really sounds fishy to me. I should stomp a mud hoe in this girl's ass and walk it dry. How far does that roof hang out over that stage? I don't know. Here, that's going to be a sign. In order for me to be able to jump off of that bridge, I've got to get from the stage up to the, the roof line. And then I've got to get lifted up, you know, nearly 100 feet in the air over to the center of that, of that you know, historical bridge. Good 
If you had 30 feet, I'd be farther out this one. And then I got to make that leap. That's like a 100-foot jump. OK, 45 degrees right here. There's your tip of your jib right there. Damn it. You know, I knew this was going to be a massive undertaking. I mean, there's a lot more could go wrong than what we did last year with the cannon. What, what's going to break the fall? I'm going to get in touch with Hal Needham, the director Smokey and the Bandit. I'm going to have him come and teach me. What's he going to teach you? How to jump off that bridge into a... He's going to tell you not to do it. If I could get Hal Needham, I mean, the most legendary, famous, worldwide greatest stuntman in the world, if he could help me and teach me how to get off of this bridge safely, I'm going to make this happen. Now I just have to sell Michael Ballard. Michael for months has been saying he's taking the throttle to a whole new level. And if Flaunt is going to follow along with the throttle, then we got to step up our game. Bang, bang. I don't want her to go out to the side just like bang, bang. We have three new girls that are struggling a bit with the dances and looking comfortable. We'd like to have five main Flaunt girls, and we really haven't found that fifth girl yet. But Flaunt's problems go beyond the new dancers. What are they doing? If you're insane, I bond his tails yeah. off as I'm playing. Yeah. I know. Most of the year, Angie's in Tennessee, and so Bree and I do most of the stuff, and then Angie comes back, and it's kind of like I feel like I don't really have a place. We're in a rehearsal right now, and we have a crowd already. With that crowd being there, the pressure of rally is real. The clock's ticking. We're in the 11th hour. I mean, this rally is on as of tomorrow. Based on what I've seen of the Flaunt girls, they're just not there yet. little time. Wait, Do not get upset with me right now. Socks. Angie and Nicole, it's just, just like bam, bam, bam. They can't talk to each other without getting mad and people getting feelings hurt. Oh, stupid. I feel as though I'm not wanted here. That's crazy. I promise you, I'm the most honest person on earth. If there's ever a time that I feel like I don't want you here, I will specifically say, Nicole, I don't want you here. It's crazy to you because you're not me. I wanted to avoid this kind of a situation. I'm fine with it. Let's leave it alone. But you I don't want this. Listen, you didn't I just the say. The minute we start talking about it, this is what's going to happen. Flaunt is flaunt. And I'm me. And you and I don't see eye to eye. So that's why it's crazy to you, because you don't understand me. Biggest week in Flaunt history is this week coming up. And already, I've got Flaunt drama. I mean, really, Nicole, just drop the negativity. Coming up. Do you guys like think we just totally suck or something? We're bringing in another girl dance trip. If Jesse wants to take us off stage, he's got another thing coming. That's just crap. Before the rally officially begins, one bartender is already crossing the line. Yeah, with Christy, yeah, she was up on the bar and, you know, she was breaking all the rules in order to get tips that we had gone through over orientation. We told them absolutely do not get on the bar. I thought that wasn't allowed. So. No, do not be up on the bar. You know, Christy's missing a lot of things upstairs. She doesn't get it. She doesn't understand it. So I kind of knew I'd have to keep my eye on her anyway. I'm running out of time with the fajita kitchen. I got to get that thing going. Fajita Mike's not coming. I've got to put somebody else in it, and the only one I got is Rusty. Here's where I'm at. That's the kitchen up there is your kitchen. Outside of that, don't f with nothing else. Well, he's made me the acting manager for now. He said, you're in charge. Take care of business, and that's what I'm going to do. I cannot do it. You know, the fajita kitchen is a huge money maker for me. I really don't understand the functioning of it. 
You know, I hope Rusty can handle the pressure. I don't know how this goes back together either. Paul took it apart. He's been working in the kitchen for me, but he hasn't seen anything yet. I don't even have the flour to make, though. Why not? I'm worried about how he's going to handle it, because he's a very up and down dude. That's not good. You know, everything that we're trying this year could just explode in my face. That's bull With time running out, Michael takes matters into his own hands. We got Angie Land left to do. Setting up bars and hoping to avoid an opening day disaster. We still got that vendor bar to run at Neon around. We've invested a lot of money in the place. And that's a huge gamble on an off year. We need to clean that out. So I'm nervous right now. Five at the camper bar. May see if there's room for one more. This could very well be a, a huge disaster this year. Damn, I got a lot of work to do. The Flock Girls are just not ready for this rally. Let's talk schedule. Let's decide which night you guys want to be all staying. And then we can figure and out. We want to we do, do our thing every night. night. Based on the rehearsal, it looks like you guys are going to have your hands full. You haven't seen our full routine. I mean, I've seen that little girl chasing y'all around, trying to figure out what the hell is going on. If she can't on. get her together, then we will not have her up there. That girl, I'm telling you, I... man, y'all might as well make it a comedy routine to where when she messes up, she just has to make a big semicircle to come back around and, and act like she's chasing y'all. We, we are not going to let them have the stage every single night, because as of right now, based on what I've seen, they're just not there yet. We are leaps and bounds ahead of where we were last year. You're not. Yes, we are. It is a ways away from being as tight as it is last I, year. I, we have ways of making sure that, that when we hit that stage, that it's going to look good. Trying to take everything to the next level this year, maybe even the possibility of another girl dance. Even if it makes their little heads pop off, the flock girls may not like it, but we're bringing in another girl dance troupe that's going to be able to take the stage one night, too. And what dance what? group would that be? Fire dancers or what? The, um, <laughs> the perfect angels. That is crap. That's just crap. They got through that TV show, America's Got Talent. They're not going to perform. The perfect angels are our competition in this industry. I understand that they were on America's Got Talent. Awesome. But that doesn't mean you need to bring them in here and put them up on the stage. Our okay. point is. No, I went ahead and was sharing with them the possibility of us putting the, the perfect angels out there. I, I just have a question. Do you guys, like, think we just totally suck or something? You know, we got to entertain our crowd. we got to make this thing special. And if they're not capable of making it special, then we got to find somebody that is. That's not acceptable to me. If Jesse wants to take us off stage, he's got another thing coming. I, I don't ever really take no for an answer. I gotta go blow me out. Y'all just figure out which night's my turn. None, work. I'm telling I you none. Right gotta, now, I'm telling you, you none. You gotta make a choice. I'm you none. No negotiation. We're taking everything at the full throttle this year up 10 notches. And if the flock curls can't get it together, then they're gonna be left behind. Next time on Full Throttle Saloon. And every bar we go to, there's no beer. The throttle's not ready for opening day. You've still got bars out there that don't have ice and beer. You're looking at cussing Jesse and Goat go at it. I am so fired. Plus, a bartender catfight. Stripper Paul Barbie is acting completely skanky. One employee gets more than just fired. You're gonna get tased. Go out, tase me, bitch. Uh, uh. And Flaunt may get replaced. If Jesse wants to take us off stage, he's got another thing coming. Get out of my office! Get out! <laughs>